right? Desert world. That looked great. Oh, that sounded better. Back in Edith? No, Farbot. Okay. Farbot. Listen, Judith Lanster and Nina Fenley. Those two ladies are a must, you hear me? The guys. You can hire any old schmucks for. Just do what it takes to get those two on board. But, 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 sir, you're talking about two of the biggest stars in the business. There's no way we could book one of them, let alone both. You can and you will. You're a pro, aren't you? You act like one. Screw the budget and set the schedule on fire if you have to. As long as we've got Judith and Nina, we can sort it all out later. If anything goes awry, I'll take full responsibility. So don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> Just go out there and get it done. Sir, I don't think a can-do attitude is going to cut it for this. Well, someone's as passionate as ever. Ha <laughs> ha! Prince Shereed! Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Clearly I brought on the right man for the job. I can already tell that this film festival of ours is going to be one for the history books. And not just the festival itself. The parade seems to be shaping up to be even more exciting than I imagined. <laughs> your event's in good hands, your highness. I'll make this film festival hotter than anything they ever put on in Messeldom if it's the last thing I do. People don't want pomp and circumstance. They won't touch that crap with a ten-arch pole. No, what matters in movies is entertainment. I'm talking F and V. F***ing and violence, baby. Alright. Director, I believe it would be more appropriate to call it a scintillating spectacle, yes? Whoops! Slip of the tongue! <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, please restrain yourself. Ah, speaking of which, my dear Naje, I don't suppose I could persuade you to take part in our humble parade, could I? Your talent is otherworldly. It'd be a waste not to put it to good use. Yes, that it would be. What say you, Naje? If you wish, you may. My prince, if you get carried away, I won't hesitate to report you to your sister. Ah, well, that won't be necessary. It was a jest, I assure you. Isn't that so, Mr. Gotti? Now, about the other candidates. Give me a break. Just how long will those two keep up that nonsense? Gotti's popularity makes him a useful asset. But he and that prince are nearly impossible to control. Ah, well. The film festival has made it this far. Might as well use it to expand our market share and... Of all the times, why now? What did he get? First district, then tail. I read 
the report on Longport. Central Intelligence Department, Integrated Analysis Division. For such a complicated series of events, it was impressively digestible. Your remote management of the situation was superb as always, Kincaid. You flatter me. Originally, I'd intended to travel there myself. Unfortunately, with a certain A-rank bracer operating within Heiyue territory, such a trip became infeasible. Which led you to play your wild card in order to gain control. A wise decision. Doing so kept our sleeper agent stationed there out of trouble. I'm curious. Is he another longtime friend of yours like that bracer? I describe him more as a curse I can't be rid of. Interesting. I heard he worked behind the scenes of Operation Meal Mirage as well. Speaking of Arkride solutions, can I get another update on their status? I'm curious to learn about their latest addition. As you wish. I'll have one of my subordinates deliver it to you later. On that note, I'll be taking my leave. If you'll excuse me, Chief Ruran. Yeah, it's Kaleka. Of course. Keep up the good work. Quite a talented and driven man, that one. He may be a little too eager to take matters into his own hands at times, but I can't fault a young upstart for being ambitious. Still, the question remains as to how the society is linked to both the Republic and Almada. Seeing as help will be arriving, perhaps it's time I reach out for a little catching up. I hope you're not getting a cold. Yeah, probably just a certain lady talking about me somewhere. Back on topic, what were you saying, Alvis? Oh, right. Just that we have more threats to keep our eyes on than just the usual suspects in the society. Namely, that group that defeated the Eisenshield unit. While they aren't part of Almada per se, the two groups seem related. Agreed. So judging by the Almada executives that appeared in Longport, We'll have our hands full with them alone. That said, I do agree we'll need to add the group Melchior originally came from to our watch list. Not to mention all the potential interlopers from the East. All the while, the CID shows no interest in sharing information. Those guys have only gotten stingier with time. And something tells me there's more to it than wanting to save face. I have the same feeling. So for the time being, we're on our own. Not quite. We can always call in a certain Spriggan for backup. Why do you insist on relying on that criminal for help? I protest as well, Jin. I'm more inclined to send you to get information out of the CID for us. Why don't you invite your master's daughter to dinner? You were students together, as I recall. I'm sure you two have a lot to talk about. Have mercy on me. Man, you used to be such a softie. How'd you get so tough? I owe it to years of training. By the way, my suggestion just now wasn't a joke. You are well acquainted with her. She once worked for the Guild, and she has the former president's confidence, too. We'd get a lot more out of her than my old friend at the CID. You do have a point. Hmm. You mean the Flying Swallow, right? Hello, Ah, you made it! Because that was a voice actor. Has it already been a year? And did you get taller? Somehow, yeah. I think I'm done growing, though. You're that ace bracer from the Empire, right? I suppose. The name is Fee Clausel. Starting today, I'll be working with you all here in Calvert. October the 3rd, 9.45 a.m. Pleasure in Delirium. Get back here! No, please! <sighs> this game of cat with mouse is over. Please wait, I can get the money. Just give me three days now. One day is enough. I'm done giving extensions. Been chasing you around like a damn fool, but that's the end of the line. Pay up right now, I'll be sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. 
Good job being intimidating and all, but it's way too early for all this damn noise. Oh, oh, where are you? Scram, it's none of your business. That's where you're wrong. I hey, have right now I'll be sleeping with fishes. Huh? Oh, nice. I got a clear shot of your face, too. Look, dude, I get you're a lone shark, but aren't death threats pushing it a bit? Wait, are you... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not saying you should let your debtor off the hook, though. How about you lower his interest rate closer to what the big three banks give? What? Don't mess with me, kid. Why can't I move? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. What'll it be? Mm. Fine. We'll give him a fair weight. Job's done. Now pay this guy already so we can be done with this. Uh -huh. Can't you just use that video to make him forgive all this of my This isn't a charity, man. If I have to be the mediator, then I'm not playing favorites. You get me? I'll get you. I'll pay him right away. That's a wrap. What do you think? Thought you'd screwed it up like three times there. You really did great, though. Mission accomplished, as far as I can tell. I wish it could have been solved without intimidation, but I'm at least glad both sides came to an agreement. Did you ever have to handle situations like this in Longport, by any chance? Sure did. Shit like this happens everywhere. Only difference is that the crooks in Longport play it safer because they don't want the hammer of Heiyue coming down on them. Interesting. I'm not sure how to respond to that. So what's the verdict, Chief? Did I pass the test? <sighs> Kills me a little to say this, but you did good. But I've got my eye on you. Bought your job, I'll kick your ass to the curb, you hear? Please, have a little faith in me. I'll be taking care of your old ass and the girls before you know it. Heads up, though. I'm a heartbreaker, so don't go falling in love with me. <laughs> uh, he's serious, isn't he? That last comment aside, welcome to the team. Don't worry, I'm not interested in you at all. But I am looking forward to improving your fighting skills. Your form is a little too loose. You talk a big game, small fry. My name's actually Farida. Oh, but I also go by fairy if you like that. Eh, I'll call you whatever I want. Hmm. <sighs> this guy. <laughs> I think the office is going to be quite a bit livelier from here on. You're telling me. This is so adorable, <laughs> this team meeting here. <sighs> what happened to my rough and tumble lone wolf image? Uh... Can't you at least pretend I'm a little cool? Oh, <laughs> I never thought otherwise. Anyway, it's almost 10. May as well head back to the office for now. Works for me. We can swing by Monmar for an early lunch. The food's good and all, but I need me some more of that hot piece of a waitress. Please don't bother, Paulette. Though, I will agree that the food is delicious. The cream stew we had last night was delicious! So, you want to go out for a drink or two tonight, Paulette? <laughs> you really shouldn't tease your elders, Aaron. Hey! You leave Mommy alone! This brat's something else. I, I kind of feel like she's just brushing him off, though. <laughs> so, we're going to be splitting up this afternoon? Yeah, because we've got more people now. I'm obviously gonna be one of the ones working outside, but I'm gonna have one of you come with me too. The remaining two will either be standing by here in the office, or go out gathering info and looking into things separately. 
And then if you get a job that needs more manpower, like say a monster extermination gig, maybe grip for it? Sounds good. I don't want to go around all buddy buddy with everyone all the time either. That's not a very nice thing to say, though that does sound pretty efficient to me too. We don't have any subcontract work right now, but that could change any second. Either way, the main team's focus is gonna be to patrolling districts that feels like something might happen by watching the Force Spriggans. Where something might happen? Can you really tell that? Makes sense to me. After you lived in a place long enough to know it like your backyard, you just know when something smells off. Really? Hmm. Oh. There's always stuff you're gonna miss if you don't go looking around. So that's what we're gonna do. Life's full of surprises, especially in a field like this. So that's why we need to split up and be flexible. I have to work very hard not to be one holding the whole team back. There's no need to think that hard about it. About the fact we're splitting up, everything else is gonna be the same as it always was. Anyway, looks like it's noon already. Then let's get to work. Now it's my turn to see what you guys can do. Select an additional member to accompany Vaughn. They can be swapped out later. Hmm. I think I keep Aeneas around. Select accompanying allies. Change party at the desk. So anything on the radio? And now for the latest news from our news desk. Hope you're having a good one, listeners. Today's news briefing comes to us straight from the Tyrell Times. The elusive Grimcat did as they announced and struck the Oracion Trust Bank's Edith branch last night. Authorities have yet to release any details, but as with previous incidents, the Phantom Thief claims to have acted to expose corruption. And now for a weather update. Here are the latest forecasts for regions throughout the Republic. Parts of the Basel area are seeing rainfall, leading to speed limits being imposed on the Autobahn. The rain clouds are expected to arrive in Edith by tonight. To those going out, don't forget to bring your umbrella. That's all the weather news we have. <laughs> Time for a traffic update around the Edith metropolitan area. Edith Radio Network. Yes, these are the most recent reports on the road courtesy of the Calvert Roadway Information Center. Speed limits are in place on the Autobahn leading to Basel due to rainy weather. Traffic along the highway to Tharbad is also highly congested due to the film festival. Drivers are urged to act with caution. So we probably go to a film festival for some job throughout the chapter because that was what the initial cutscene was about. Thanks for the update. Radio Network. You got a lot of guts slacking off on the clock, but I'll get off my back. I'll be done with my work by the time you get back. Alright, almost forgot. I had 20 the other day, so don't toss that booze in the fridge, alright? I'll help myself. Well, it works for me. You're an adult. Maybe you could ask the old man to throw a little something for you? Nah, I shot the shit over the net with my buddies back home. That was a good time. Food here is pretty good though. Maybe I'll bug the old man for dinner. Give it a try. I put my heart into it. Got it. I'll try my hardest. My Kruga cooking turned out great. Are we in a room? No. Anything regarding the cat? Not here at least. Good, let's start looking around. Probably just to downtown district for now. 
have a film festival over in Messeldam called Off for Terror Threats and when we're killing over in Langport, just to speak about all of it. How long is it gonna take for these stupid dogs to stop barking? Feeling out or whoever's supposed to get bad today, so bundle up. Thank you, see you later, Miss Jin. More candy again? Come back soon. Wait, what? They're putting you in charge of your Orestian branch? I just... Holy shit, that's your big grade right there. Well, that's an offer I can't accept. Oh, because you have to pack your bags and move there with Harry? I would, and I don't think that would be best for him. I just can't turn his life upside down like that. My time with him is far more valuable than any job offer. I get you. Just wish that could compromise some more. You know, maybe there's a way. Oh, what are you thinking? They're not saying you have to bring Harry with you, right? Surely they're more flexible than that? It's just office work you do, isn't it? Man, since when did you learn so much about my job? Do I really belly act about it that much? You, make yourself useful and keep Red over there in check, got it? I'm teaching that brat a lesson, he talks to her, he even looks at her again and I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, I know. You could really stand to calm down a little, Pops. Victor looks like he's about to explode. That red hurt punk shot his shot while I wasn't looking. But I'm gonna catch him next time and when I do, this scrawny little ass is grass, you hear me? What's on the menu? Be seeing ya. It's nothing urgent, but I would greatly appreciate the help. Here's my shopping list. Oh, and if you have a chance, over at Central Marsh. Affirmative, so Central Marsh, that's some. Um, going shopping, don't get lost now. I'll be fine, trust me. I've already been here three weeks. Hang in there, fairy. I give it my best, too. It's wonderful to see everyone helping the rest of one along like this. Today's another busy day. So I need to do my part too. By the way, Yumi is off at Sunday school. She'll probably be playing with her friends afterwards. Yeah, lots of children at Sunday Welcome. school there. Thanks for stopping by. Check this out. This is a frame I mentioned earlier. I got to cast it myself at the workshop. Tough as nails and perfectly modular, just the way I like it. Alright, I also got some spare parts here. A gift? <laughs> Thanks. You've really taken to this stuff, Kaina. Wait, wasn't she out from the... Wasn't Kaina from the village we were in Chapter 1? The, 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 the village orbital shop apprentice? Can I really just take this though? Of course, if anything, I'd love for you to critique it. I want to learn how I can make my stuff even better. It can be anything. Shape, strength, whatever. I insist. Just let me read a little from that encyclopedia of yours. Come on, give me a chance. Well, well I'm not really good at that sort of teaching stuff. Oh. Uh, Van, when did you get here? Oh, you guys who saved the village. Thank you for so much for what you did, Tully. You're from Cray Village, right? Long time no see. I'm from Old Town myself, didn't realize you two knew each other. Thank you for all the help at the village, Kaina. <laughs> nice to bump into each other again. So it's, uh, Dad is good friends with Kaina's boss. I don't think they've talked in a while, though. Yep. About half a year ago, my boss introduced us and the rest is history. She's just a total mechanical mastermind. She's a real role model for me, too. Not just an engineer, but as a girl, you know? Ka Kaina, please. I I'm getting embarrassed. Well, good to see the hermits made a friend. Rebecca is just pinpoint precise of her work. She's like a walking encyclopedia on new tech too. She's really incredible. I come from a smithing family. It was their world that motivated me to become an engineer myself. I really respect them for that. I'd love to study under her, but she just keeps turning me down. I'd really love for her to show me the ropes though. Maybe someday I'll get my chance. I'm glad Kaina's doing alright. I love Kaina. She's just adorable and she makes good stuff to boot. 
Oh, you've got lots of interesting stuff in here. What more will I find once I take you apart? <laughs> Dad's been good friends with Goddard over in Crail Village for a while now. That's how we got to know Kaina. She's a good girl. I hear her trainee is going well to boot. Makes me want to get good myself. Okay. Do you know what you want? I hope to see you again. Do you know what you want? I hope to see you again. All right. Kit is on the upper floor. Jeez, why did this practice test feel so much harder than the other ones? Oh, well, I guess I should have expected it from Aramis. Can't let it get to me. The test result should be posted soon, and then I can use it to fine-tune my strat for the real exam. Alrighty. Meow? It looks like they all come to drink with water, and they're cozying up to that great cat in particular. They got their own little system. You'd best just leave them be, okay? Got a lot of stray cats here in Old Town, but they all seem to fall in line around the grey one. Ah, the table's calling my name. I'm gonna go at it until my wallet cries for mercy, is what I would like to say, but I have business to tend to at night. I have to at least do my job in passing, or the suits around me get all cotchery. Cotchety. Think of it like brain training. Gotta stay sharp at your age, yeah? Zipper ripper snapper. Besides, what's the harm in going senile? My brain goes to marsh, I go to a nursing home with beautiful ladies who tend to my every need. I could swear I've seen him somewhere before. This was just my imagination. Anyhow, I have to head out tonight. What a chore. Can't old men like me just gamble in peace? <sighs> Oh, welcome. I need a Sunday school today. She's run the front desk so smoothly it's been a while since I mended myself. Goodness, I hope I'm not rusty. Heading in? Um. Heading in? Oh. Ready? Heading in? That's the stuff. This might be a little too toasty. HP, EP, and CPU are fully restored and S boost gauge increased 3 points. You look nice and refreshed. Okay, church. It's full today. And here. I knew Father Nikolai would be open to the idea. <laughs> It gives the kids an extra dash of learning since we're long hours of typical school day. We've taken to it well, reading and writing especially. And most importantly, we're all excited to learn. Father Nikolai really knows how to pique their curiosity. I'd love to host these regularly, and I'm sure the kids would too. I'm so glad I get to do this. 
Now, today's a special lesson class, we are writing our own songs today. I'd like you to think first about what kind of tone and rhythm you'd like to convey with your songs. When you write your lyrics, I'd like you to use at least one word you've recently learned, be it from a book, a lecture or anything of a sort. Without further ado, let's begin our writing. If you get stuck or need help, I'm happy to guide you. Oyumi, what kind of song are you gonna sing? Uh, I wanna sing something exciting, like really fast and fun. And it gives you so much energy that you can play forever. I look forward to hearing it. Me too. I'll make sure to sing it for you guys. Okay. I'm gonna write a super exciting song, one that makes everyone really happy and funny. Once it's done, I'm gonna sing it for mommy and grandpa. <laughs> so I was thinking... What kind of song should we make next? Hmm. I wish I were as good as, as Yumi, she's really good at making songs. A word I learned recently, huh? Wonder what to pick. I pick up a lot of new words from books, so that's easy, but maybe I should go with something different? Be more romantic? Hmm. Your songs are kinda hard to sing. It makes my teeth all weird. Can you be quiet, Harry? I get to play with them every day. Yeah, I can totally do that. If you're gonna make music, I wanna make a real cool song. We can call it Harry's song, yeah. I wanna make it about my cool new bike. Let's try to fit that in, okay? So that's how it works. You have to make the words line up with the rhythm of a song. That's a real tricky part. Father Nikolai wants me to include a word I learned recently too. Man, you should know how to keep me on my toes. Let's see, oh. Uh, Corporatocracy, that's a cool word I heard recently, but how do I include it in a sentence? The goddess of the sky is always watching over you. Probably nothing above? No. I'll be out of house arrest soon, and I gotta go work. Perish of Ward, just thinking about it terrifies me. It didn't fire me, but my career is over. I'm back down to some subsidiary branch now. Ah, why is my heart beating so fast? Alright. Doesn't look like there's any good info here. Is there no quest on this board? Say, why not take some under the best water nice and good before the sun comes up. Oh wait, no! They said there's a storm coming today. Hold the water then. I'm really having a blast with this job. Hard to believe it's been half a year already. I don't feel burned out at all. Back in school I really went all in on art and drawing and stuff. Thinking big on it though, wasn't really my thing. I didn't have a natural talent for it like jesters for music. I'm perfectly happy with this job. And our share house too. Keeps rent nice and low. The job makes me happy and lets me live with Jess and my sister, and that's all I can ask for. Being a florist isn't so bad after all. Say, why not take some flowers with you? I hope I see you again. Hey Jess, how's it going? It's nice and quiet today. You can feel a good rhythm coming on. Raymond, Carol and I, we've known each other since grade school. We all grew up in Anchorville. That place is nothing special, but that's what made writing music there so easy. It's so perfectly calm and chill. But now I'm here in the hustle and bustle of a capital. Those two ended up coming with me too. In the hope they're not coming along just to appease me. Alrighty. I mean, Raymond just said he's happy here. You finally come home and this is how you talk to me? No one asks you how you feel, old heck. Just give me my allowance. Ah, well, you want old timer. Keep your nose out of other people's business. Sir, yes, sir. Little shit could really use a good roasting, but that ain't my business. A 
I'm sorry about my son. I'll make sure to give him an earful later, just please try to ignore him for now. If anything strikes a fancy, I'll ring you up in a jiffy. <sighs> Looking is always free, you know. Anytime. Ah yes, your family moved just the other day, if memory serves correct. Quite a change of scenery from your bougie old neighborhood. Now, what could have happened to cause such a drastic change? Folk of your status are west side in Old Town. Uh, well, um, so co has me and her talents. I need to find a way out of here post haste. It might surprise you to learn, but I used to be a police officer. In my heyday, I was a bloodhound of the SID. If you've got something that needs taken care of, I just might be able to help. What? Are you serious? Bl bloodhound? So she's more than meets the eye. She might be able to help with my husband, but... A bit of a departure from a previous title, isn't it? Lady, don't go yanking people's chains like that. Oh dear, <laughs> did I get too carried away there? Alrighty. I read in this magazine that criminal activities on the rise. The Mafia is to blame. I nearly brought a certain criminal empire toppling down back in my SID days. I just had the strength to finish the job, perhaps I could have prevented this resurgence of crime. It does weigh heavy on me. Does it? I couldn't tell, sorry. Performance wasn't very convincing. I was about to go shopping, this woman stopped me. Just couldn't get a read on her. Can I really trust her? It's just commendably frustrating. What do I do? Okay, and we want to do it. Uh, to do this here. Do we have? We have. And yes, King Cat and Dingo. Okay, what do we have at Tyrell Times? Culture, Fabot Film Festival to open on schedule. The president of Vegas Films, Caspar de Lyon, has announced that the Fabot Film Festival will be on schedule to open on the 7th of this month. De Lyon also revealed to reporters that while the Macedon Film Festival was cancelled due to terrorist threats earlier in the year, luckily no such threats have been made against the Fabot Film Festival at this point in time, and all preparations are proceeding safely and smoothly. He expressed his desire to make this new film festival a success for Messerdam's sake as well. This will be the first film festival held in Farbad and expectations are riding high as it attempts to fill the hole left by Messerdam's cancellation. Due to this, it seems the attendees and investors gathering to participate are far beyond initial expectations. However, despite both being film festivals, there is enough difference between Messerdam and Farbad to render some doubt as to whether Farbad could be considered a replacement. Unlike the Macedon Film Festival, which focuses on cinema as a form of art, the Farbad Film Festival, supervised by award-winning director Salvatore Gotti, will be dedicated entirely to film as entertainment. Attendees who see this as its own festival, with its unique direction, will perhaps enjoy the event more than those who simply see it as a replacement for Macedon. Incidentally, the royal family of El Sarim, who have long been investors in the economy of Farbad, have poured significant funds into this event, stating their hopes that this will encourage the growth of cinema in their country as well. This strong international focus is another way for the Farbad Film Festival to be a whole different event from Messeldom. As in the society, Elaine saw a string of homicides in the dazzling city. Thoughts have revealed that Bracer Elaine Eau Claire was instrumental in resolving the string of brutal homicides in Langport last month. Ms. O'Claire was reportedly visiting Langport on business during the incident, which 10 youths were found dead in the eastern and harbour districts of the city. Officials were unable to release details of the perpetrators at this time, but stated that they were moving toward a swift resolution for the incident. Much of the circumstances surrounding what happened remains shrouded in mystery, but the fears of local residents seem to have been calmed. Interviews with local law enforcement and the local branch of the Bracer Guild confirmed that Ms. O'Claire was a huge help in apprehending the suspects and gathering information vital to solving this mysterious crime. Mr. Hazel, a representative of Adam's Bracer Guild, the branch which Ms. O'Claire hails from, avoided discussing any specifics of the incident or her participation in it. 
speaking briefly to reporters, O'Claire avoided revealing any details of the incident in her interview, instead leaving only the words, I was the one who cracked the case and a regretful look on her face. We did have one of our reporters in the area at the time, but she was on the trail of another article at the time and this, coupled with a conflicting report she received of the incident, meant our initial coverage was severely hampered. We take this as a lesson and use it to improve our coverage in areas outside the capital to ensure we are always bringing you the best and most up-to-date report possible. International Tensions rise in Central Eastern power struggles Earlier this year, wealth distribution in the Central East was turned upside down. The funds of a Vallis investment bank based in the coastal city-state of Vallis in the Central East leaped above those held within the Nudos Development Bank, located in the Principality of Esraim, which has been the financial leader of the region for quite some time. Thanks to Vallis' dramatic growth and power over the last decade or so, economic power struggles in the Central East have become a common sight these days. Despite this, it's still an incredible feat for Valis to overtake a rival organization with an unshakable foundation, enormous territory, vast underground reserves of wealth, and one which has been increasing its investment steadily for decades. A representative from the Principality of El Saim stated, His Majesty the Grand Prince and His Highness the Crown Prince are remaining firm, though some nobles and cabinet ministers are pushing for quick action, revealing some apprehension regarding Valis' rapid growth are still paying respect to the solidarity of El Saim's ruling family. He added, The investment coming from Valles are difficult for us to understand. We thought they were focusing on rounding up the support of all the local tribes, only for them to suddenly pour vast amounts of resources into Orat, quite some ways out of their territory. It's hard for anyone to predict what they'll do next. In his words, it's pretty clear that El Saim's economic strategists have trouble comprehending the logic in Valles' aggressive investments. The representative admits that this flexibility is one of the reasons many tribes and smaller nations in the Central East that do not align with El Saim's views have high hopes for Valles. Though there has been no military involvement quite yet, the economic conflict between the two powers in the Central East is starting to give off sparks. Due to the deep financial ties between Calvert and El Saim, this is hardly a concern solely for the Central East. Depending on how things play out, the economy of the Republic could be severely impacted. We encourage our readers in Calvert to keep a close eye on the situation. Society Most Wanted The Vancey brothers still at large. A media representative for the Edel Police Department confirmed today that the Devancy brothers, a dastardly duo wanted for acts of fraud, extortion and robbery, throughout various jurisdictions have continued to evade capture. He admitted to reporters that a recent focus of police resources have been on mafia-related investigations, leaving the Devancy case overlooked. However, he added that the police have expanded the scope of their manhunt for the two to cities outside of the capital. The worst case scenario would be for them to flee the country, the representative stated, indicating that this possibility is the cause of a broadened scope. The Advanced Brothers are known for studying their victims carefully before enacting a con tailored to each victim to extract them of their money, a tactic which has caused them to incur over 18 million mirror and damages. The police representative stressed that citizens who have any information, no matter how trivial it may seem, that could lead to a capture of the Vancey brothers and encouraged to share it with local law enforcement as soon as possible. Calvert Hot Spots Long Lai Edition Long Lai is a hot springs paradise nettles in a quiet basin between two mountain ranges in the eastern tip of the Republic. Have you had a chance to visit and experience it? The eastern Wabi Sabi experience of Long Lai is quite different from that of Langport. From the relaxing hot springs to the unique eastern culture that finds solace and tranquility, there are plenty of reasons for you to visit. It's one of Calvert's hotspots you should deprive yourself of seeing at least once. Last but not least, due to Long Lai being enlightening from a cultural standpoint, exploring the differences between Langport and Long Lai give a unique experience to the depth and diversity of eastern culture. It's just far too many other draws to count. From the beauty of nature seen through the majestic waterfalls and wondrous mountain views that change with the seasons to absolutely scrumptious cuisine that makes full use of Long Lai's unique climate. If you're tired of a daily grind, why not make a stop at Long Lai? Take a nice soak in its hot springs and let its unique eastern culture soothe your mind and spirit. Mm, yeah, I think I end the episode here. Good. Until next time, when we explore the other parts of town, I'm Mace and don't get lost.